Hey lovelies, my name is Sophie here again to do another eyeshadow tutorial. This time I'm going to be doing a tutorial only using the Align Crime Venus XS Solid Gold Eyeshadow Palette. If you'd like to see how I came up with this glamorous look, please stay tuned.
Okay, guys, so this is my final take on the v the Lime Crown Venus XS Solid Gold Eyeshadow Palette. This palette, as you see, comes with four colors. Um, the eyeshadow pots in these in, in this eyeshadow palette is like a regular size pot that you would get in in the basic eyeshadow palettes out there. Um, this is kind of like a regular size, the standard size. Um, but I also want to point out that for four shades, it's a bit on the pricier side. And I understand that, yes, that is Lime Crime. And Lime Crime is always going to be ex be expensive. It's, all, it all, it's always going to run you a few bucks, a few extra bucks. Um, but definitely, I think that... Um, they could have done they could have done better with this palette in terms of packaging i say that because i mean you could have they could have at least put a mirror in this section i mean if this palette was supposed to be an xs version um with less shadows i'm assuming that it would probably be made for those that um love traveling and um if I uh, if I travel with this eyeshadow palette, it would kind of be pointless for me if it doesn't have a mirror. Um, so I think that if they included a mirror in this eyeshadow palette, that would have been an, a really good um, thing. And I also think that the palette, I mean, even though it is very cute with the packaging, you could see that it is kind of cheaply made. It is kind of cheaply made, and I understand a that is lime crime whatever the case is um but i think that a, a bit better they could have done a bit better on the packaging and the presentation of the pa of the palette now the box this palette came in is this um clear plastic box it came like this this is exactly how you're gonna see it in the store in the plastic box um the shadows in this eyeshadow palette definitely have some form of pigmentation the pigment is sitting me there for all the shades you guys saw that i use all the shades in this palette to do this eyeshadow look in addition to using these shades in i in this eyeshadow palette i also went ahead and i used um an eyeliner from the essence cosmetics brand this is their super last matte black eyeliner um i really love this eyeliner because as soon as you put it on it gives you this beautiful matte finish compared to my other eyeliners out there normally i would have um i would get a shiny look when i use them but with this eyeliner right here it gives you a matte look if you would like to um do an eyeshadow look where um, you want your black to have a matte appearance rather than a glossy appearance, I would definitely recommend this eyeliner from Essence Collection. And in addition to that, it is very much on the affordable size. Um, <laughs> it is very much on the affordable price. It is very affordable. And like it said, it is a super last. I don't know how super lasting it is, but it is a super last um, liquid eyeliner that gives you that matte finish, and I love it. I also wanted to point out that for um on my eyes i also went ahead and i used this right here i got this um from aliexpress i got this from aliexpress this is kind of like this is supposed to mimic the stiller cosmetics um liquid um eyeshadow the glitter eyeshadow um this is this kind of supposed to mimic it um and i bought it from aliexpress the name of it is called hang fang yes hang fang and um this is where i got it this this is in the color number five from the hang fang collection i will try to see if i could get the link on where to purchase it if you're interested but this is definitely an, a, a more affordable option um for the stila cosmetics um glitter liquid eyeshadow so just wanted to point that out to you so that's what i used on my eyes as well now for my face i went ahead and i used the makeup revolution um conceal and define foundation in the color 12.5 and 13 although i think i should have used more of the 12.5 color because this eyeshadow is a little too much on the red side but i mean it is what it is it's not like um i'm looking like some ghost up in here but um that's what i use for foundation to set my foundation i went ahead and used the all may smart shade setting powder in the color 300 medium um to set my under eye area i also went ahead and used the beauty bakery uh flower the setting powder in the color yellow um for highlighter today i went ahead and i i, I used this newbie this is a newbie to my makeup collection um 
I use this Marc Jacobs Luminizing Powder. This is the oil, the all oil for a luminizer um, in the color Guilty. This is what I use on my face for highlighter today. And I also, um, for blush and kind of highlighter, because this is like a highlighter and a blush all in one, I went ahead and I used my Milani um, Baked Powder Blush in the color number two, Rose Dioro. So this is what I used today for blush. Um, for my lips today, I went ahead and I used, well, I used a lip liner to line my lips. And in addition to that, I think I, I went ahead and I used, what did I use for my lips today? For lips today, guys, I think I went ahead and I used the Morphe Metallic Lip <laughs> Color. It was, a it was a metallic lip color by Morphe. And I can't seem to find it, unfortunately. Um, but definitely, I'll try to leave a picture and the details of uh, my lip color in the description section. Um, so this is the final look I was able to come up with using the Lime Crime Venus XS Solid Gold um, Eyeshadow Palette. I really hope that you guys loved it. Um, <laughs> I'm really feeling it. I think that this is a perfect look for the new year or if you want something that is not too much on the glamorous side but looks very good. Um, I think that this would be a very good eyeshadow look for you, especially if you're looking for that or if you're going for that gold look. Um, so let me zoom in so you guys can see how this look up close and personal. So, Divas, that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all that you do. I hope that you like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe. If you're new to the Madame Suki channel, welcome, honey. I hope that you like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe on your way out. Don't forget to hit that bell because you got to be part of the Sophia's squad and you got to be part of the Sophia squad because you're a sophisticated lady. That's why, honey. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. I hope that you continue to be amazing. Don't forget to be you. Don't forget to be fabulous. And don't forget to be Sophie. Bye, honey.